Hello! Welcome to Speak American English with Lyman Holton. My name is Lyman Holton. There are two types of letters in the English alphabet. Consonants and vowels. Most letters are consonants. B, C, D, F, G, H, J, K, L, M, N. P, Q, R, S, T, V, W, X, sometimes Y, and Z. Consonant letters do not sound like their letter name. For example, the consonant letter B sounds like B, B, as in the words bottle or buy. B. We're looking at consonants. You probably know the ABCs. Well, out of the ABCs, we have vowels and we have consonants. A, E, I, O, U, R, vowels. Now, why is a vowel sometimes two, but many times it's a consonant? And we're going to talk about it as though it were a consonant in this lesson. Okay, here's the important thing. This video playlist specializes in pronunciation. So let's not worry about A, B, C, D, E, F, G. I think you know that. If you don't, go back to an earlier, uh, earlier video in this playlist and you can learn them with me there. But here, we're concentrating on the sounds, how to pronounce the sounds in words. So here they are. We're going to make the letter sound, and then we're going to put some words up here to use that letter sound in the word. Okay? Now, B. Please repeat it with me. B, as in by, bicycle, k. K, as in the word cat, meow, a cat. Also, it could sound like a s, s, the S sound, as in the word celery, celery, C-E-L-E-R-Y, celery. That's a vegetable. How about d, d, dog? Do you have a dog? Does your dog dig holes in the backyard? Duh. Fu. 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 We have first. I'm the first one in line at the bank. Ah, I'm lucky. Number one, first. Four. Find. Can you find your glasses? Yeah. G, g, g. We have the color green, g, g, g. Or how about better yet? We have another one, like the word give, g, g, give. Okay. Green, eh, that's another conversation. Let's stick with g, all right, with no r after it. Give. Please, please give him a cup of coffee. We have, oh, sometimes G sounds like. A J. Like there's Gary and there's Jerry. Gerald. They can be spelled with a G. It sounds like a J. It happens. We have uh, we have the letter H, which sounds like huh. Huh. House. Do you live in a huge, huge house? Huh. 
j, j, j. Okay, now j, we said j, a g sometimes sounds like a j, right? So there's a little confusion there, but <clears throat> the word giraffe, giraffe, hmm, look that one up. How do you spell that? Is it a g or a j? But when we're talking about the j, j, j sound, how about we say just a moment, please? Just a moment. Or my mother got so much joy out of baking Thanksgiving Day dinner for her family. Ja, ka, ka, ka. Okay? How about that? Have you ever met a lady named K Kate? Kate? Have you ever flown a kite? A kite? L, l, l. Leave me alone. Let's take a left turn up ahead. L, it's getting late. L, M, M, his name is Mike. I saw a mouse run across the floor. M, N, N, N. In the month of November, N, 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 November, November, he said no. N, N, no. P, P, please, please. P, P, period, period, at the end of a sentence, a period. Q, we have, now Q doesn't do a whole lot without U after it. So, the sound could be like the American coin, a quarter, 25 cents, quick, 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 quick. That's what we would usually think of. Here we have r, 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 r. We talked a lot about R. We use R a lot in English. The R sound. R, 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 r. Ready? Are you ready to go for a run with me? R. S, s, the good old S sound. S. We put that on the end of so many words. Not only is it in the middle and at the beginning of a lot of words, but it gets put on the end of a lot of words too, remember? And we need to use that sound a lot. You must be able to make it. And it shouldn't be a, a s, uh, no uh sound. It's just air. S. My sister is a beautiful woman. I'm going to tell you a story. I have six chairs in my dining room. T, 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 t. Uh, the shirt's a little too tight. A little too tight. How tall is that man? How tall? T, the, 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 the letter B. He's very tall, v, v, and that B should not sound like a B or a P. It's its own sound. You put your lower lip under your upper teeth, B, v, very, very. W, wa, wa, wa. Why are you here? Where did he go? Way over there. Look way over there and you'll see it. Whoa, 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 whoa. X. Now X, a lot of times it sounds, it, it, it'll be silent. A lot of times it sounds like an S, a S. Think of the word xylophone. It sounds like a Z in xylophone, right? Xylophone. Kind of an S sound, kind of a Z sound. Yeah. Okay, the, the Y, how about the word Yo-yo, a yo-yo, it's a kid's toy. Yeah, a lot of adults play with them too. But a yo-yo, it's round, it's on a string. How about an egg yolk, yolk, the yellow center part of an egg, of an egg is called a yolk, Y-O-K-E, yolk, yolk. Z, 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 maybe you go to the zoo, Z-O-O, -O, to see the zebras, zebras at the zoo. You have a zipper on your jacket, 
Is it broken? No, I don't think so. Okay, so there you have it. Those are the sounds. Those are the sounds. Now let's look at some words. Let's take a look at these words. We have build. Okay, now we're looking at consonant sounds, right? Consonants. We've got, we have B, B in the word build. To build a house. I would like to build a business relationship with you. B. We have C. Okay. Now C sounds like either C in the word call. Call. Please call me tonight. Or the word or the sound S. S, S, S right. So if you as in K, S, as in S. Now. As I mentioned before, celery. Celery would be a good one, right? Okay, the vegetable. We have duck, dog, dog. Do you have a dog? Is it a big dog or a small dog? We have f, f, find, find, f. Can you find? The newspaper I left on my desk. Could you find that and bring it to me, please? How about G? G in the word golf. Do you play golf? Are you a golfer? Okay, the game, the sport, golf. Sometimes G sounds like J. J, J. What are we thinking here? What are we thinking? How about the word giraffe? Giraffe. That animal in Africa with a very long neck, a giraffe. That's spelled with a G, but it sounds like a J. Okay, we have H. Ha ha. Help. Could you help me, please? Juggle. Juggle. J. 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 Juggle. Juggling balls. Maybe when you were at the circus, you saw the clowns juggling some balls. Juggle. We have kind, kind. K -k. He's a very kind man. Uh, what kind of coffee do you like best? La, la. Loose, loose. Your dog has been running loose all over the neighborhood. Please tie him up. He's making me crazy. Loose. Oh, the shirt is too loose. The shirt is too tight. Now it's too loose. We have mop, 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 mop. Okay, you, a noun is a mop. It's something you use, has a handle on it, a bunch of strings in the bottom. And you use it to mop the floor, right? Then it's a verb when you're mopping the floor. Mop. We have N. How about never? I never mop the floor. I just don't like to do that. I'm kidding. I always have to mop the floor. Okay. Push. Please push those boxes to the other side of the room. Push, push the door closed. Push. We have Q, and as I mentioned, Q U goes together, right? Well, here we have qu -qu quiet, quiet. Q doesn't really do much by itself. But please be quiet. I'm trying to read, I'm trying to study. Quiet, don't make noise. Ruh, ruh. Really? Really? Are you really ready to go now? Really? Oh, you're not you're not ready? Well tell me when you're really ready so we can go, okay? Really for certain. Silly, silly. Oh, what a silly little dog. Look at him, look at him, look at him trying to chase that car and catch it. Nah, it's not gonna happen. Silly. How about T, t, t tumble? Well, the little dog was chasing the car and tripped. It, it 
stumbled and tumbled across the street. But it didn't get hurt. Tumble. Perhaps you have a glass that's called a tumbler. Have you ever heard of that? Yeah. Tumblers. Type of drinking glass. We have the various. There are various types of glasses that we use to drink from, right? Small glasses, tall glasses, wine glasses, whiskey glasses, shot glasses, water glasses, eight ounce glasses, various types. And we have wa for winter, one of the seasons of the year. Oh, winter time, right? When the snow falls, the leaves are gone from the trees, it's cold outside. Mm, winter. And then comes spring. Now we have the letter X, and X might just sound like its own name, right? Like X-ray. But it can sound like Z, like in the word xylophone. Xylophone. I mentioned xylophone earlier, but X just isn't that popular at the beginning of words. Okay, we have Y, as was mentioned, Y can be a vowel, but here we're talking about consonants. The word yo yo yo, yes, 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 I'd like to get a yo yo, yes, I love the yolk of an egg. Mm -mm, good, yes. And then we have finally the letter Z. Z, -Z -A. here's zero. The number zero. There aren't any. We have zero eggs left in the refrigerator. Zero, right? The temperature is zero. It's very cold outside. In this lesson, we will learn about the letter Y. Let's answer two questions. When is Y a vowel? When is Y a consonant? When is Y a vowel? If Y is at the end or in the middle of a word and there isn't another vowel before it, it's a vowel. When is Y a consonant? If Y is at the beginning of a syllable that has more than one letter in it. It's a consonant. As a consonant, Y sounds like Y, Y, as in yes, Y, S, yes, and yellow, Y, L, low, yellow. Hello. We have consonant blends. Now, you know what a consonant is, right? We have uh, 26 letters in the English alphabet. Five of them are always vowels. A, E, I, O, U. We say sometimes Y, but let's not worry about Y. All right? All the rest of those letters are consonants. If we put two certain ones, we put two consonants together, we have what we call a consonant blend. Now, not all consonants put together are called consonant blends, but certain ones are. And if you remember this, you understand it, and you can pronounce these sounds, this helps you to easily pronounce more English words. Helps you to read also, right? So here we have Two consonants that make a new sound when placed together. So here are 20 sets 
of consonant pairs, 20 pairs of consonants, right? A pair is two of something. <clears throat> and these particular letters, when they're put together, make a new sound, a new sound. So let's look at some of these. B, L. B sounds like B. L sounds like L. So we have bl, bl. Like in the word black, maybe you have coal black hair. Blue, perhaps you have blue eyes. BL, blah, blah, blah. BR, b. Now we replace L with R, bra, bra. What word would start with BR, bra? Not blah, bra. Well, how about the word? Break. You go to work about 10 o'clock in the morning. You may want to stop and have a coffee break. 10 or 15 minutes just to relax, drink a little coffee, talk with your co-workers. A break. All right. So that's bra. Blah. Bra. CL. Now we have, in this case, C has the K sound. K. K, L, cl, cl. What would that work for in a word? How about class? C, L, A, S, S. Right now, you're in an English class, right? You're listening to an English class. Cl, C, R, take away the L, put in an R, 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 K, R, Cr, Cr. Hmm, what could that be? How about you pick up your coffee cup and you see there's a crack in it. C-R-A-C-K, crack. Cr, cr. We go to D-R. Take away the C, put on a D. Now instead of K, we have D, 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 R, Dr, Dr. Maybe that cup has a crack in it because you whoop, you dropped it on the floor. It didn't break completely. It didn't shatter, but it cracked. So you dropped it. Drop. D R O P E. F L fla fla. How about f l i fly? Maybe there's a a fly buzzing around in your home, or you saw a bird fly across your yard. Fly, flup, flup. F-R, take away the L, put on an R. Now we have F, R, R, Fr. How about freeze, Fr, Fr, ease. You put something into your freezer and it freezes, it's, Hard, frozen, ice, fr, g, l, g. Here, g sounds like g, l, 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 l. Now, we use the word class, c, l, a, s, s. Now, let's go to glass, gl, gl, gl. Glass, maybe your cup that you were drinking out of is made of glass. Hmm, okay. GR, what sound would GR make? If GL is gla, 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 how about gr, gr, g, gr, a, gre, gre, gre. The word grape. Do you like wine? Do you like grape wine? Grape juice. GR, gr. P L P L together pl 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 How about the word please would you please help me would you please come here would you please close the door pl pl please P R P P P R R R P R P 
Akra? Price. How about the word price? What is the price of that loaf of bread? What is the price? How much does it cost? P R I C E. Price. Now, let's go to S K. S here sounds like s, s, right? We have a K. K will sound like k, k. So we have s, k, s, k, s, k. Another new sound. Now, what could start with s? K? How about skate? Do you like to go ice skating? Skate. Do you like to go roller skating? S K. S K. S K. Skate. S K A T E. S M. We have s. S s M. Mm, mm, kind of a mm sound. Sm. 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 How about small? Something that's small. Maybe you have a uh, very small feet, so you buy very small skates to go ice skating or roller skating with. S sm, sm. Take away the M, put on an N. Now we have S. N sounds like N, N. Sn, Sn. What could be Sn? Hmm. How about snail? Snail. A snail is a small creature with a shell on it and it moves very slowly. It has one big foot, a couple of antennae that stick out of its head, and it's called a snail. They just kind of slither along. They have a shell. You can see them on the land, you see them in water. A lot of people like to eat them. The French word escargot. That's what we say in America too. We picked up the French word. If you're going to eat a snail in a restaurant, we would say escargot. Snail. S N. Sn. Sn. How about S P? S P. Sp. 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 Spell. Can you spell this word? Do you know the letters that we need to use to make the word? Can you spell the word? Spell. S-P-E-L-L. Spell. Spell. S-T. St. 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 How about stop? Stop. S-T-O-P. Or the opposite, start. Start means go, begin. St. S W S W S W S W. What could be S W? Well, how about the word swing? S W I N G. Maybe you're when you were a kid, you like to get on a swing. You like to swing on the swings at the playground. Sw Sw Swings. T R T R T R T R T R T R Okay. T R perhaps. Oh, how about truck? A truck. You have a car for people to ride in. You have a truck for someone to drive and haul loads of things in. Maybe furniture, maybe dirt. Big old trucks going down the road. T R truck truck. T W T T W like in swing. What what tw 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 tw. What could it be? How about twig? Twig. T W I G. A twig is one of the small branches on a tree. We call those twigs, the little twigs. They're small. Twa, twa. Consonant blends. Now, if you are a regular watcher of these videos that I make, 
You remember the one prior to this? It said consonant blends, but I told you that consonant blends were when we took two consonants, placed them side by side, and they made a new sound. Did you catch that? A new sound? No. A blend. Their sounds blend together. I wanted to put that little error in there yesterday so that today, when you watch this video, the word blend will stay in your mind. We're blending. We're putting two sounds together, but they're not making a new sound. Not a new sound. We'll talk about consonant new sounds and the word we use to describe that in a later video. But we're talking about consonant blends. Now, there were 20 pairs of letters we put together and we're going to talk about five of those pairs and additional words that they can be used in in this video. Then after this video we'll continue on until we finish all 20 of them. Alright? So we have BL. Remember B? What does it sound like? B. L. La. B. La. Bla. Bla. Bla, ank, a n n n k, k, ank, ank, a n k always sounds like ank. If this was p l, the word would be plank. B l, blank. Blank means nothing, empty. It's not there. The shelves are blank. We wouldn't really say that, but we would say that uh, a line here. If there were no, if there wasn't a word on it. It would be a blank line. Maybe the person had a blank look on their face. No expression. Blend. B-L, blah. E-N-D. Now, E-N together normally just sounds like N, the letter N. D, duh. End. Like the end of the road, the end of the video. It's over, it's done. Blah and blend, like we use the word here. You blend two things or more together to make something else, right? Blend. A blend of fine whiskeys, a blend of tobaccos, a blend. Different things put together. Blind, B-L, blah, I-N-D. I-N is in. D, duh. But it's not blend. This changes. I-N-D sounds like I-N-D. I-N-D. A long I sound. B-L, blah, blind. Blind is when someone cannot see. They have no eyesight. They're a blind person. Now in modern times we don't really say they're blind. We say they're uh, visually impaired. That sort of thing. B-R. B-R. B. B. R, R, B, R, R, R. You can hear both of those letters and they kind of blend together. R, an, a, n, an, like an apple, an elephant, an, c, h, ch, an, ch, an, ch, br, branch, branch, a branch, tree, trees. Think of trees; they have branches on them. Think of a large bank that has smaller banks with the same name scattered about the state or the nation. Those would be called branch offices, right? Or maybe a large real estate company does that. Branch. B-R. I-D-G-E. It sounds like idge. Idge. B-R, bruh, idge, bridge. Do you know what a bridge is? A bridge. You have something cars drive on to get from one point to another. Usually it's because there's water in between it or there's a very steep crevasse uh, valley of some sort. And we build a bridge across those so you can drive across the bridge or walk across the bridge. B-R, bra bra, A-I-N, ain, ain. Bra brain. The organ 
in your head is called a brain. And the brain is where your mind rests, right? That's where your mind is fixed in. Your brain is the organ though. Okay, now, people make a mistake. A common name in the United States for a man is Brian. B-R-I-A-N. Ian, Ian, Brian. And many times people make a mistake when they write down the person's name and they write down brain. Like, well, I'm going to say hello to brain. No, it's Brian. Brian. Okay, here we have C-L. C C K L L L O C K Ock Ock O K is K K K O C K is Ock Ock Cluck Cluck Ock Clock The clock on the wall tells us the time of day C L Cluck Cluck Here we have O's O's Now here Close like we're going to close the door, close the window. The store is closed. Okay? The O is long because of the E. The E gives it a long O sound. Did you know that? Close. Here we have cl, cl, ever clever. If someone says that you're very smart, you're tricky, Maybe tricky, you're kind of clever, you're clever. Oh, he's a clever person. He or she can figure things out. They're smart, right? Cla, ever, ever. E-V-E-R is the word ever. Like, have you ever eaten chocolate ice cream? Hmm. But this is clever, clever. C-R-Y, cra, cra. Ra, the R sound. Cra, Y sounds like an I. Cry. If you're sad, you may cry. Boo hoo. C R, cra, and we have O W. O. It sounds like O in this word. A crow. Have you ever heard of a bird called a crow? They're all black, they're rather large. They're very noisy. Typically, you see them out in uh, rural areas where there's farms. They like to get in and eat the corn, and they'll eat just by eating. Very smart bird. Their little larger ones are called ravens. The smaller ones are crows. They make a ka ka sound. C R C R A. E E in this word sounds like. E. K sounds like k. K. R. E. K. Creek. A creek, think of it as a very small, narrow river. Very small. Something you might even be able to jump over. But it's not what we would consider a, a river. It's very narrow. Also, they might call it a small stream. But a creek works. DR, what sound is that? D is da, R is ra, dra, dra, S. E S sounds like S. Let's see, E N sounds like N, E S sounds like S. Dress, dress. Usually, if we say dress, we're talking about a piece of clothing that a woman wears. A dress is usually one piece and it's for women. Dress. DR, dra, again, dra. AG, what do you think AG sounds like? Could it be ag, ag, drag, drag? Okay, drag. Now, perhaps you have a very heavy box or bag of something, too, too much weight, it's too heavy, you can't lift it, so you, you drag it across the floor, drag, dr, draw, now, here we had 
Why sounds like I? Well, in this word, it sounds like I as well. So can you sound it out? D, R, D, R, D, R, I, dry, dry. Perhaps you haven't had any rain in your area where you live for a long time and people are saying, oh my goodness, it's very dry outside. Or after you eat a meal, you have to wash your dishes. Do you set your dishes on the side of the sink so that they can just drain off and dry in the air? Or do you take a towel and dry each plate and cup before you put it in the cup or in the cupboard? Two different ways to do it. People do it different ways. All right. Five. We have 15 more to go for the consonant blends. Remember, there are two consonants that come together, blending their sounds together, not making a new sound. All right? Consonant blends. We're continuing on with more words that we can use consonant blends in. Here we go. FL, 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 OAT, OAT. Now, float. You get on a raft, you get on a boat, you float on the water. FL, FL, A M E, FL, 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 FL. Can you hear the blend? F, la, f, la, f, la. Aim, aim. Remember, flame, flame. If we took off the E, it would sound like flam, flam. Flam isn't a word, right? It isn't a word, but that is what it would sound like. A-M sounds like am, flam. Put on the E, flame. What's a flame? Well, do you know what a candle is? Perhaps you like to light the candles on your birthday cake and the fire that's burning, we call that fire a flame, a flame. Or in a campfire, there were many large flames coming up from the logs. FL, fla, fla, ooh. EW sounds like ooh, ooh. You see many words with OO in it and in many words, not always, it sounds like ooh. But here we have flu, F L flu. It's the past tense for the word fly, F L Y. A bird, a bird may fly into the window. Oh my goodness! Look at that. A bird just flew into the window. F L. I mean, I'm sorry. F R. F R. Fra, 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 fra. Can you hear the blend? Esh, esh. Remember, es sounds like s, right? S h, sh, sh, sh. Fresh, fresh. Esh, esh. Fresh. What is fresh? Well, something that's new, right? Uh, boy, it smells so good when my mother used to bake fresh bread. She baked bread, right? Well, bread that's a day old, that uh, smells nice, but not like fresh bread that just comes out of the oven. Fresh cookies, fresh bread. Maybe you have a very youthful, fresh looking face. Freedom! Fra, E, E, E here sounds like E. D, duh. O-M sounds like um, dumb, dumb, but a different meaning, not like stupid. Freedom. What is freedom? Freedom means you can do what you want to do for the most part, right? Do you live in a free country? If you do, then you're very proud of the fact that you have freedom. You're a free person, right? If you don't have freedom, you'd probably like to. But the United States, that's our big thing. Freedom, right? Freedom. Fr, 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 ack, 
ACK, A C ACK, T, CHURE, CHURE, U R E, YOUR, CHURE, FRACTURE. Now this ends up sounding like a CH, right? Kind of like CH, fracture, fracture, ch, ch, fracture. That's really how it sounds. A fracture is something that didn't actually break, but it cracked. It's fractured. If you get in an accident and the doctor says your arm has been fractured, that means the bone inside isn't broken apart, two separate pieces. It means that it's cracked. A fracture. And it could be uh, other things, not just bones. GL. Ga la, ga la, ga la, ga la. Fra fra. I mean, fla fla. <laughs> gla gla. Ass. Ass. A S S. Ass. All right. Gla ass, glass. We had the word earlier, class. C L A S S, class. I'm giving a class on English as a second language. Glass. Okay. The window has frames of glass in it, right? Glass, glass. Maybe you're drinking from a glass tumbler. You're having a glass of water. Glass. G L A D. Gla ad. A D sounds like ad. Add. A D D would be add two numbers together. One and one equals two. A D is also a short abbreviation for the word advertisement, right? So if you are looking uh, for a sale, you might see an advertisement someplace. People will just say it's an ad. Glad means like you're happy. Glad. Here's happy, here's sad, here's glad, right? <laughs> we have a saying in the United States that, oh, that guy went from happy to glad real fast. In other words, he found out things weren't quite as great as he thought they were, but they weren't terrible, so he was sad. He was just glad. He was, he was a little better than okay, right? But not quite happy. Green. Gr, gr, een. E, e sounds like e. N sounds like n, n. Een, een. Green, it's a color green. Grass is green. Perhaps you know someone who's Irish and they have green eyes, right? Gr, een. If there was only one e here, this sound would be gren. E, n sounds like n. But E E N sounds like een, een. Now gren, that's not a word. It's just a sound. But that's what this would sound like. Gren, right? English. Green. Gra a do it. Do it. Do it. Graduate. 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 What's a graduate? How about a graduate student? That's someone who's going to a university and they're probably just about to get their master's degree or they just got their master's degree. They're called a graduate student, right? Now, the next level up above a graduate student would be someone who's going for their PhD, their doctorate. Below a graduate, below the master's degree, we say it's a bachelor's degree. That's typically four years at a university. Okay, graduate. Uh, how about the word graduate? If you're going to graduate from high school or something. Same spelling. Graduate, graduate. Grumpy. We have grumpy. Okay. G-R, gr, gr, U-M, um, um, um. P, p, p. Makes a P sound. Y sounds like I in this word, so it's p i pi p. Uh, I'm sorry. It sounds like an e, p e p p p. 
So it actually sounds like the letter P because the I is there sounding like an E. Grum P. Um, um, grum P. Take away the Y, what would it sound like? What do you think? How about grump? A grump. There's an old man who lives down the street. He's always yelling at people. He doesn't like anyone. He's just a nasty, mean old man. He is such a grump. And we would say that he is grumpy. Grumpy. He's irritable. He's always acts angry. He's not happy. He's grumpy. An unpleasant old man. P.L. Um. Here's um, grumpy. Here's P-L, P, papa, L, la, 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 pla, pla, pla. Can you hear the P and the L? Pla. U-M, um, plum. What is that? It's a fruit. Yes, yes, indeed, it's a fruit. And let's see, uh, it's, it's bigger than a grape, but about the same color as what we would call a, a, a purple grape, a red grape, right? A, a purplish colored grape. They are typically what I think of as plums. They're different kinds. But I think of them as purple and oh, about that big around. They have a soft inside, delicious, fruity taste, plum taste, and they have a very large pit, a big seed in the center that's very hard. You have to be careful you don't hurt your teeth. You have to like chew around it. If you dry them out, do you know what a plum is? It's called a prune. Like a grape, if you dry out a grape, it's called a raisin. If you dry out a plum, it's called a prune. Uh, a prune. Okay, P-L, pla. A-C-E. Ace, ace. If you play cards in a typical deck of playing cards, you will see the ace. It's a big deal in the cards, the ace. All right? Now, A-C-E, ace, and then P-L, pla, pla, place, place. Okay, place, oh, well, what place, which place is yours? Oh, I live in that place over there. A place, right? Okay, some place. Whose place is that? Let's go some place. Let's go to a restaurant. Let's go to a movie theater. Now, the E makes this A sound long. Ace. Place. If we took off the E, we'd have plaque. Plaque. Now, not saying that it's the correct spelling for plaque, but the sound plaque is something that builds up on people's teeth because they don't brush properly. And over time, they get plaque on their teeth. It's a bad thing. But... P-L, pla, pla, ace. Pla, eight. Pla, eight. Now, take away P-L, you have the word eight. Past tense for the word eat. Did you eat yet? Yes, I ate an hour ago. I, I, I ate this morning. I've already eaten, would be the past participle. Eight is a simple past. A-T-E, E makes the A sound long. If we took off the E, we'd have plat. Plat. Plat is not a word, but it would sound plat. Okay, so A sounds long because of this E. Plate. If we had AT by itself, it'd just be the word at. At. Okay, he is at school right now. Plate. Now, what's a plate? Well, usually a plate, when somebody thinks of it, it means different things, right? But basically, think of a dish. When you sit down to eat a meal and you have a flat, round object to eat on, not a bowl, but a plate. That's almost flat. Compared to a bowl, it's flat. Now, many people say, it's a dish. It's a dish. Well, another word is a plate, okay? Consonant blends. Consonant blends. This time we're going to look at the consonant blends PR, SK, SL, SM, and SN. 
Remember, consonant blends are two consonants that come together blending their sounds. Now, knowing this helps you to be able to sound out words, to sound them out when you're reading so you know what the word is, to be able to pronounce them when you're speaking. You want to pronounce your words correctly, right? Okay, here we go. P-R. P-P-P P is P R R R. Blended together, they sound like pra, pra, eyes, prize. Now the e makes the i sound long in this word, prize. A prize. Perhaps you enter a contest. You're the winner. You're the fastest runner. You bake the best pie. Something, and you get a prize. And the prize might be. A gift certificate, maybe a big trophy, but a prize. They call it a prize. Not a surprise. You may be surprised that you won, but you get a prize is the gift. Okay. P-R pra un. Un. Now in the last video, we talked about the word plum, a fruit. And when that fruit is uh, dried out, is called a prune, a prune. Now also, people prune bushes. They, they will take some large branch cutters and cut off branches on the, the bush and they'll say they are pruning the bush. Please prune the bushes, prune. You, you, prune. It's not like a oo sound. P-R, pra, eddy, eddy. Or itty, itty, sounds like pretty. Someone who looks good. Maybe they're not quite, it's like this happy, glad, and sad. Well, we've got beautiful, pretty, good looking, nice looking, you know, and so on. So, but pretty, she's a pretty girl. That's a very nice compliment. Or maybe the countryside looks so pretty on a sunny day. S K S S S S S K K K K S K S K S K Unk Unk Skunk An animal about so big, so long, about the size of a house cat. It's there are different kinds, but usually people think of they're they're black with a white stripe and a big bushy tail, white stripe down the center of their back, and they stink. They can spray a terrible smell. That's a skunk. Ski. S-K. Ska, ska. Now this I, wouldn't you think an I would sound like an I? No. Not here. It sounds like E. Ska, E. Ski. So to go in the winter time, you go up into the mountains and you ski down the mountain slope, right? S-K. Ska. I-L-L -L is ill. Ill. If this were H, it'd be hill. If we took off the S, it'd be k -k kill. But this is skill. Perhaps you have great skill when it comes to skiing. Skill. Something that you can do. That's a skill. Alright. S L. S L I D I D. Long I sound because of the E. Take off the E. Slid. Now, slid happens to be the past tense of slide. Hmm, how do you like that? Now, when you were a kid, did you ever go on a snow-covered hill and slide down the hill? It's not skiing, it's sliding. Sliding, or people will call it sledding also. But when you go sledding on a sled, what you're doing is you're actually sliding down the hill. Many kids would use a big piece of cardboard, flatten it out, and whoosh, slide down the hill. I D E, I'd slide. Now he slid down the hill. Slid. Take off the E. Be in the past. S L sla sla. E E E E P P P P. Eep eep. Sleep. Do you know what sleep is? It's probably what you do about eight hours each night, hopefully. 
sleep. You close your eyes and go to sleep. Now, SL, sla, ope, slope. If, if we took off the E, we'd have slop, right? Slop, like something you throw the pigs to eat. Old, old food from your house, right? The old food, you throw it to the pigs, it's called slop. <laughs> That's slop. But here we have slope, slope. A uh, slope could be what we call the hillside. You go down when you're sliding down the hill or sledding down the hill. The hill, the, it's at a slope, an angle going down. Slope. S M S M O O K O O K O. The E makes it sound loud or uh, sound long. Otherwise, it sound like smock, right? Which here that wouldn't be a correctly spelled spelled word. There is a word smock, but it wouldn't be this one. Okay, I don't think it is. Hmm, I'm not sure. Maybe you should look that up in your dictionary. But I think smock would be S M O C K. Not sure. It just came to me. Hmm. S M O K E is smoke though. And smoke, sm oak k k k sound k smoke. Okay, we say a person smokes if they have cigarettes, cigars, a pipe. They're smoking. They like to smoke. There's a fire, and smoke is coming up from the fire. Smoke. S M sma sma. E L sounds like L. E and L sound like L. Now, L smell. Smell. Perhaps smell. You can smell something. It is smoke. Is it smoke that you smell? When you come home and someone is cooking in the kitchen or you cook something, oh, the smell of fried chicken. Oh, the smell of baked bread. Ah, oh, smell. Or perhaps you sit beside someone on the bus who doesn't have good hygiene. They don't wash much and they ugh, smell bad. SM, sma, aisle, aisle. E makes the I sound long in this word. I. L, U, L, smile. Okay, smile, you have a smile. The opposite of a smile would be a frown. You're not happy, you are happy. Or at least you look happy when you smile. Flash those pearly whites. S, N, S, N, N, S, N, S, N, S, N. Can you hear the S and the N blending together? Sna, ache, ache. Take off the E. Snack, snack. Now, snack is spelled like we talked about smock. What that would be would put in a C, uh, O C K smock. Well, here you'd have a C K with no E would be a snack, right? Perhaps you enjoy eating. Uh, some cookies as a snack in the afternoon. You shouldn't. You should probably have a prune. Yeah, that'd be healthier. Okay, so here we have snake, the long A. And what's a snake? It's a reptile. Long, has a tongue shooting out of it. No arms, no legs. It slithers around. Most people don't like it much. S N S N A E. E A in this word E A together sounds like E, right? Sna E K K the K sound. Sneak. What is a sneak? Well, maybe someone told you, hey, no more cookies for a snack for you. Stay out of that cookie jar. But you come into the kitchen and you quietly take a cookie. You're sneaking in and you. You snuck a cookie. You're a sneaky person. You you took the cookie. You were sneaking in. Sneak. S N or snore. E is making that O sound long. Snore. Snore. Now really, I think if we took the E off there, 
that word would still sound like snore, right? But we have that long O and there's an E there. So anyways, do you know what snore is? Well, we talked about sleep. Many people, when they sleep, they make this sound when they're sleeping. <laughs> Some people, it's very loud. That's called a snore. You are snoring. They say you're snoring. Snore. Right? Please don't snore. Oh, I hope I don't snore. I do. The consonant blends. So we started out talking about 20 different consonant blends, two consonants that blend their sound together. SP is a con are, are two consonants, and this is a consonant pair, right? They blend together, makes a sound. Not a new sound, just a sound pushed together. SP, S, -s, -s, -s sounds like P sounds like p, p, p. So we have sp, 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 L. E L sounds like L. Spell, spell. Perhaps you know how to spell many words in English. The word spell. Can you spell spell? S P E L L? Spell. Okay, also we could say that. A witch, like on Halloween, a witch riding a broom, put a spell. She cast a spell on everyone in the town. She's evil. Spell. Okay, but I don't want to get off topic. These are the last five pairs we're going to cover. In the next video, we'll be on to something else with pronunciation. Okay, continue with SP. Sp, I, der, long I sound, D, E, R, E, R, er, er, there's that er sound, D, der, spy, der, a spider, it's a bug, has eight legs on it, many people don't like them, they're afraid of them, but they do eat a lot of other insects, so they're pretty nice to have around really, unless of course you get bitten, S, P, sp, sp, End. Take away SP and you have the word end. Take off the D, you'd have EN. Sound like N, N. Put on the D, D, end. Spend. Spend money. When you go shopping, you spend money. Or maybe you spend some time with your uh, family on the weekends. ST. S St, st. We have statue, statue, st, a, chu, statue. Now this sounds like tu, tu, right? But we don't say statue. It comes out sounding like statue. It ends up with sort of a ch sound, right? Typically that's how you're going to hear it. What is a statue? Well, a statue is usually of a person and someone who's famous. They chisel out a, a statue out of marble, out of some sort of stone normally, and they'll put them maybe alongside a street. S-T, st, r, r, e, e, sounds like e, t, st, re, st, re, street, put it alongside a street. What's a street? Some place where people drive. You drive down the street. You may look off to the side as you go by a park or a government building and you'll see a statue of a famous person. Maybe someone who founded the town. A hero who grew up in the town. Maybe it's here in uh, Washington, D.C. and you see a statue of past presidents, senators, congressmen, our founding fathers of our constitution, our country. St, 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 the word air, air. We breathe air, we want fresh air. St, st, 
air stairs. When you walk up the steps to go to the next floor above you, those are called stairs. Many steps, stairs. SW, eat, S W, what, what? Together, they blend together, they sound like sweat, 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 sweat. Su, e, e, sounds like e, t, 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 sweet, sweet. Do you know what sugar is? Pour a little sugar in your coffee to make your coffee taste sweet. Sweet. Maybe you think that a uh, little baby next door is such a sweet little girl. Oh, what a sweet baby. Sweet. SW, 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 sw. I, I, short I, M, M, M. Swim. Swimming. You go in the water and you start going along and you're swimming. Swim, past tense, swam, past participle, swum. Do you like to go swimming? Sw L, E-L sounds like L, like spell. Well, we have swell, swell. Now, if you were to bump your elbow hard on something, ooh, maybe you would hurt it and it would swell up, get bigger. Not good. Maybe your knees hurt and your knees swell up when you walk too much or lift too many things. Swell, right? Okay. T R T R T R T R A A V E L E L sounds like L. V the, the V sound. B B B V E L Travel Travel comes out sounding like travel. You go from one place to another, you travel to get there. Or perhaps you take a trip and you go from wherever you are now to someplace else. We would say you took a trip. Maybe you take a trip from uh, your home to a vacation island, right? A trip. You could say you traveled there, you took a trip there, right? T R tr I I P P short I and the P sound I P trip. Also, you could be walking along and you boop, stumble on something. We would say you tripped, tripped and fell down. Did you get hurt? Oh my gosh! I hope your leg doesn't swell up. T R tr A N A I sounds like A. N sound, N, AIN, TRAIN, TRAIN. So, perhaps when you travel, you go on a trip, maybe you take a train, right? Woo -hoo! And you're steaming along, not really steaming, diesel engines, electric trains, going down the tracks, right? An efficient and relatively cheap way to travel most times. A train. Also, you might take a class someplace and you have someone who trains you how to repair a car. They train you on how to type fast. They could train you. Teach you, train you. TW, T, W, W, T, 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 E, L, L, L. And then we have that V sound, B. 12, 12. Now I have the word 20 over here because many people who speak English as a second language get confused and they mix up 12, which is 1, 2, 12, 10, 11, 12, 13, 12. They confuse it with 20, 2, 0, 19, 20, 21. Yes, common mistake. Tw, elv, tw, enti. E N N T T T twenty T sounds like an E T E or just the T itself. E N N twenty twelve. 
Now, when we say the word 20, really we pronounce the T like a D. So it's going to, it's going to sound like 20. Or we don't even really say the T. I shouldn't say we make it sound like a D. We really don't say it. We say 20, 20, 20, like the N goes to an E sound, 20, 20, 20, English. Okay, 12, two, what? N's, Whoop, can you see that? I-N, I-N, T-W-I-N-S. Now, we have I-N, all right? T-W, twa, N, S, with the S. Twins. Two of something that are the same. Perhaps you know uh, someone who is a twin. They have a twin brother or a twin sister. It means they were born at the same time, basically, right? There are identical twins. There are, uh, what do they call them, fraternal twins. So, twins, two of something. Consonant blends were discussed, but we only talked about two-letter consonant blends, like uh, B, L, P, R, things like that. Well, there are also consonant blends, we consider them consonant blends, that have three consonants in them, that blend their sounds together. Now, as you can see, one of them, there's a U here, that's a bit of an exception, all right? We'll talk a little bit about that in a moment. Consonant blends, looking at three-letter combinations. Three-letter sets, a set, okay? Instead of a pair of two, we have a set of three. And the ones we're looking at, S-C-R. S-C-R, S, S. Here, the C sounds like a K. K, K, K. Sk, sk, or K, K, K. Yeah. R, R, R. Skra, scratch. Scratch. Yeah, the C doesn't, you don't hear a K sound. You barely get the C in there, but scra, scra, it's there. Scratch, scratch. Now, what is scratch? Well, if maybe you have a, a rash or a mosquito bite on your arm, you're, you're going to, oh, you want to scratch it because it itches, it itches. It irritates you and you scratch it. That's a scratch. One definition of a scratch. The person's voice is very squeaky and scratchy. We would say it's a scratchy voice, not a clear voice. Scream. Scream. Here we have E-A. Sounds like E, M, M. Scream. 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 You go to a horror movie, a scary movie, and you hear women getting chased by a vampire or something, and they're screaming. Ah! Do you scream at movies? Could be embarrassing. We go over here. S-P-L. 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 A-S, as, S-H, sh, together, ash, L, lash, splash, 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 splash. Jump into the water, you spat on top of the water, slap the top of the water, it will splash, right? Don't splash in the bathtub. Your mother will be angry. Splendid, splash, splash, E-M, sounds like N, D-I-D, did. The id did. Splendid. That's like saying something is excellent, great, wonderful. It was a splendid dinner. Thank you so much. Something that's very good. S P R. S S P P R. R R. Sp 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 Ing Spring. What happens right after winter? Springtime. Spring comes. The season of spring. Flowers bloom and birds sing. Spring. We have SPR, spra, 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 
What does A-Y sound like? A-Y. A. Spray. Take away the S-P, you have Ray. Take away S, you have Pray. Perhaps you, you like to pray once or twice a day. Spray. Take a bottle with some liquid in it, maybe you spray your windows, and then you wash them to get them clean. SQR. Okay, now U is a verb. Uh, U is a verb. No, it's not a verb. U is a vowel, all right? We have SQU. Well, wherever you see Q, U is going to follow it. That's English. Okay. Squ and it makes this squ 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 sound. S Q U A R A R E here sounds like air air. We've got that e. We have the consonant. We've got another vowel a, and the a sounds long. A or square. What's a square? It's a shape. Square. I consider myself to be a bit of a square. How about you? Now this, this isn't a square, it's a rectangle. A square would have four even sides, the same, same lengths, heights. Squeeze, S-Q-U, this might be a little difficult to see down here. I apologize for that. Squeeze, squa, E, 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 sounds like E, you have Z, 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 squeeze. Okay, maybe you like to have lemonade with fresh lemons. So, you take a, a lemon, the fruit, a citrus fruit, you cut it in half, and you squeeze the outside of that half of lemon so the juice goes into a glass. Maybe you mix it in with some water, perhaps a little sweetener, sugar of some kind. You squeeze it. Maybe when you see your your little sister or your daughter or someone, she's so cute, you just, mm, you want to give her a big squeeze. Squeeze. S-T-R, S-T-R. St, t, r, r, str, 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 eat, street. Str, eat, E-E, -E, sounds like E here. T, t, street. A street. Look out the window. You probably see a street with many cars on it. It's rush hour. Many, many cars are on the street. A street, a road, a lane, a drive, an avenue, a boulevard. Basically, they're streets. S-T-R, str, str, O-N-G. What does O-N-G sound like? Ong, ong. Take off the G, it sounds like on with the G. Ong. Again, you can't see it too good, but this is a G. Okay, str, ong. Now, strong means the opposite of weak, right? Someone who's strong, maybe they have oh, big bulging biceps, they can lift heavy things, mm, strong guy or gal. Strong, a strong relationship. Maybe two people who get along very well, when they have problems, they get over them and their relationship continues because they have a strong relationship, a strong marriage. S-T-R. Th-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R
We're talking about silent consonants. Silent consonants. If you understand the consonants, it's easier for you to pronounce the words. You can make the sound of the consonant, and you know where and how to use it. Now, silent consonants are very important. The next six pronunciation videos are going to talk about silent consonants. These are going to be short lessons. So, I'm going to take them one at a time. This is number one. Here, we're talking about in words that begin K-N. The K is silent. The K is silent. All you hear is N. N, N, N. For example, we have the word knob. Knob. Take off the K and you have N-O-B, knob. Now that's the sound, not really a word. K-N is the correct spelling, but the K is silent. If you don't pronounce it correctly, you're going to say knob. Turn the door knob, right? That's what a knob is. A knob is something that you turn. On the old television sets, we used to turn a knob instead of click the remote control. Or you had children and they turned the knob for you. They were your remote control. But a doorknob, go to the door, turn it, a knob. Knob, no. K-N-I-F-E. A knife. A knife. A sharp edge on a piece of metal, usually metal, and you cut something. Maybe you cut a piece of string. Maybe you cut some meat when you're eating dinner. You cut with a knife. If you don't say it correctly, knife. Could I borrow your knife, please? No, 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 no. Knife. Knitting. Knitting. Many women enjoy knitting, to knit. They like to take two long needles and some yarn, a ball of yarn, and they knit clothing. Perhaps a, a sweater, that's very common. A sweater, a muffler, scarf, a cap to keep you warm in the winter, stocking caps. Knit, knitting. If you say it wrong, knitting. Knit no, no, no. Knitting. Knock. Now we talked about a doorknob. How about when someone comes to your home or your office and they they knock on the door because they want to come in. Okay? So that's knock. They're knocking on your door. Can knock? No, no. Okay, so we covered knob, knife. Knitting and knock. There are many more words. K N E W. New. I knew you were going to say that. Not canoe. Canoe is a type of a boat, a narrow, long boat that you paddle down a river or across the lake. No, no, no. New. I knew you were going to say that. No. N O is no, as in a negative. No, I'm not going to eat that piece of pie. K-N-O-W, no. Now that means I know something. I have knowledge of something, which also knowledge begins with K-N. So keep in mind, the K is silent in words that begin with K-N. And we're talking about silent consonants. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we're on the second video regarding silent consonants. The previous video, we talked about K-N, two consonants. K is silent when it comes before N. This one, the topic is in words that have double consonants, double, two, the same two, D-D, M-M, whatever, only one consonant is pronounced. That sounds pretty simple, right? 
It is. It really is. But it's something you need to know. Even if it's something simple, if you don't know it, well, it's not so simple, right? So, let's run through this. I picked out four words, and there are many, many, many words with double consonants. Now, the piece I'm hitting on is the fact that when you have a double consonant, only one sound is made. Not d and d or e and e. It's not like that, okay? And there are, this double consonant situation is going to come up again in future videos where we're going to be looking at spelling, okay? What are the rules for using double consonants? They're pretty interesting. But here we go with the sound, the pronunciation. The word communicate. Communicate, communicate, communicate. Now it's got the short I, it sounds like communicate. It's going to come out sounding like communicate, communicate. Double M, so we're not going to say come communicate, come communicate. Communicate, communicate. There's no break. The way it's said, the two M's really they just run together, right? Communicate, communicate. Just like when you get to the N, communicate, right? You hear one N. There is only one N. Communicate. Now, what's communicate? Communicate is what I'm doing with you right now. I'm talking to you, I'm communicating with you. I could be on a telephone talking with you, I'd be communicating by phone, I could be sending you an email, an email, I'd be communicating you that way. Many different ways to communicate. Get your, your, your ex, you express whatever it is you want the other person to know, you're communicating with them. Now, we have the word a letter, a letter. In, it's very common for a T in the center of a word or inside a word to be pronounced with more of a D sound, D, the letter D as in dog. That's the case here. It isn't always that way, but frequently. Okay, so we have D, 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 letter, 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 letter. It's not led der, led der. It's not like that. Letter. <clears throat> so the T sounds like a D, one D. Now what's a letter? Could be a letter, one letter in the English alphabet. That's a letter. Also, you might write a letter and send it to your friend through the mail, right? A letter. Okay. How about the word middle, 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 one D, not mid, dull, not mid, dull. It's actually difficult to make it sound like it has uh, the sound made twice, right? <clears throat> but it can be confusing. It's confusing. There's two letters, why aren't there two sounds? So, middle. What does the middle mean? Well, if we have the beginning here and the end here, right about here would be the middle, right? The middle. Okay, <clears throat> how about the word speed? Now we have E-E. -E. So it's not speed, speed, speed. No, speed, speed. Now, really, if we took out one E here, we'd have a whole new word, and that word would be sped, sped. The long E sound would turn into a short E. So, that, that's the situation here. These other words, would be, they would be nothing. They wouldn't even be the, a, a word, right? They'd just be a misspelled word. But this one, if we took off one E, we'd have sped, which is the past tense for the word speed. Now, what is speed? Well, uh, basically, the, how fast something goes. If you get in your car and you're 
driving down the road, you're going off speed. <clears throat> now, probably, you're in a country where they use kilometers for measuring speed distance, right? The metric system. Well, in the United States, we use miles. So we might say, going down a highway or a freeway, that we're going 65 miles per hour. Each hour, we've gone 65 miles if we maintain that 65 mile per hour speed. Kilometers, same thing. If you're doing 100 Ks or 100 kilometers on whatever country you're in, it could be uh, somewhere in Korea, it could be the Audubon, you're doing 100 Ks, you're doing 100 kilos, you're doing 100 kilometers, 100 clicks an hour, something like that. But that'd be about 60 miles per hour. Anyways, speed, speed. Now, we're looking at silent consonants. Silent consonants. We're on number three of the seven videos in this sequence of information about silence consonants. The letters GH are silent when the letter I, I is a vowel, G and H are consonants. When G and H are together, side by side, the letter I is in front of them. <laughs> Let me read that again. The letters GH are silent when the letter I is... Ah! That's the problem. In front of them. We need the word in right there. Now that's good English. Okay. The letters GH are silent when the letter I is in front of them. Simple enough, right? So here we have Psi. Psi. GH, it's not making any sound here. We just have SI, 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 SI. What's SI mean? Do you know what it means? Well, if you uh, sit down, many times someone will go, oh, because it feels so good to sit down to relax. Or maybe you said something that upset someone else and they let out a sigh like, oh, like that because they're, they think what you said was uh, stupid. Yeah, maybe that's the word. They think it's stupid. How about a baby? A baby. When the baby's rolling around, it's going to sleep and it makes a little, ah, kind of a little sigh sound, a baby sigh. Here's the word right. R-I-G-H-T, right, right. G-H is silent, R-I-T, right. Okay, so what's right? Well, this is my left hand, this is my right hand. Left and right. Maybe you did the right thing by getting to work a little early this morning. Hmm, the boss would like that. Here's the word frighten. Frighten. F R I G H, silent, T E N. So we have F R I, fry, fry, T E N, ten. Frighten, frighten. We don't really make much of a sound with that T. It's more like frighten, frighten. T is pretty much silent too. But the point is, G H is followed by I, and they are silent. Now, R I G H T. Light, please, turn on the light. Or maybe that package you're going to bring to the post office, hmm, it's very light. It probably won't cost much for postage. G-H, silent. L, I, lie, l, I, lie. T, light, light. Change the L to an M, we have might. M-I-G-H-T, M-I, T, might. Okay, what would might be? Might, hmm. Usually this word is used instead of the word maybe or may. I may stop on the way home and pick up some eggs and milk. 
I might stop on the way home and pick up some eggs and milk. GH is silent in the word might. Hello. More on silent consonants. The fourth video of seven. W is silent in words that begin with WR. We have the two letters WR side by side at the beginning of a word. That W is silent. So we're going to pronounce it with just the, the R sound. Now W and R are both consonants. Both consonants. The first word we're going to look at, right, right. In a previous video, we talked about the word right. I said, my left hand, my right hand. Okay, well now, this is a different spelling. The same sound, but a different spelling and a different meaning. To write. So perhaps you take a pencil or a pen and you write something on a piece of paper. You write a letter, you write a note. Whatever. W R I T E. Take off the W. R R I T. Right. Okay. Then we have ring. Ring. Now, if you just hear the word ring, you might be thinking of R I N G. Perhaps you have a ring on your finger. Perhaps you hear a a telephone ringing. But this is W-R-I-N-G. It's the same sound, ring, because W is silent. But it means to, for example, if, you're, if you have a rag, a towel, and it gets wet, you could twist it and you'd wring out the water. Wring out the water. We used to have washing machines that were called ringer washing machines. They had two big rollers on top of them, and you'd put the clothes through those roller, rolling pins, and it would wring out the excess water on the old style washing machines. Okay, we have the word wrong. Take away the W. Ruh, ruh, ong. O-N-G makes the ong sound. Like I-N-G is ing. So, the word wrong. Well, you have the right way to do things and you have the wrong way to do things, right? Maybe you got someone very angry at you because you said the wrong thing to them. You made them angry. Or maybe you took a test and you got too many of the answers wrong. They were incorrect, not right. They were wrong. W-R-A-P. Take away the W. Rap. R A P R A P rap. Okay, now W A P rap would be like to to pound on something quickly. You're rapping on it. You rap on it. There's also rap music. Perhaps you like the modern new rap music. I don't. W R A P. Okay, now to rap, you take some paper in a box and you wrap. The box in paper. You wrapped it, right? You wrap something in newspaper. You wrap a package. Wreckage. Wreckage. Take away the W. No sound. Well, the W is still going to be there, but it's silent. Wreckage. Wreck. Okay, if somebody drives their car, boom, in, into a tree or hits another car, we might say that they wrecked their car. They wrecked it. The car, it's wreckage. Where's the wreckage after the accident is over? The wreckage, where is it? It's the damaged vehicle. Or it wouldn't have to be a car. It could be buildings after a storm, that sort of thing. Wreckage. Wrist. Wrist. W, the W is silent. R, 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 I, S, T, ist, ist, ist. Okay? And what is a wrist? Well, this is my arm. This is my hand. 
This is my wrist, where the hand and arm meet. That's called the wrist. Where your foot and leg come together, that's called ankle and ankle. This is a wrist. This is a wrist watch because it's a watch worn on my wrist. Silent consonants. We're on segment five of seven videos dedicated to silent consonants. In this lesson, we're talking about the silent T. Sometimes, I want to emphasize, emphasize, sometimes, sometimes, not always, sometimes, T is silent. When it comes after a S or F, sometimes, right? So that's going to make, <laughs> make the English a little more confusing for you, right? Here we have often, the word often. This word is frequently mispronounced. Many people will say often, often, often. And generally, we consider it to be pronounced correctly as a silent, with a silent T, as often, often. So off, F, N, often. Really, this one can go either way. There's, there was a period of time where it was pronounced uh, originally as often. It came back, you know, years later, it was often. And it's changed somewhat over the years, but now it's accepted as a silent T often, often. You'll hear people say often. You'll come across it. We have the word soften, soften. Oh, what does often mean? Well, it means something that happens a lot. It happens regularly. Like, perhaps you have the newspaper delivered to your home, and what happens? The delivery boy throws the paper into your bushes. You can't find it. It happens often, right? Could be often. I often have to stop on the way home from work to pick up some milk, some eggs, something like that. Often. Not every day, but often. Frequently. Soften. Okay, now you know what the word soft is, right? Soft is the opposite of hard. Maybe you have nice, soft skin. Oh, it's so nice. <clears throat> or you have a nice, soft pillow that you sleep on at night. Something that's soft. Something that's hard would be like the, the top of your table. It's hard, right? This board, it's hard. My shirt is soft. So soften, soften. To make something softer, we need to soften it. Leather from an animal that you make shoes out of or a belt, a jacket. That leather is very stiff in, as part of the process, but it has to be softened up, softened up, kind of beat up uh, to become nice and soft. Right? So they soften it. We never say soft ten. Soft ten. We don't. But if there's no E-N on the end, we're going to say soft. T. We make that T sound. Soft. Let's look at this now. We talked about F-T, F-T. Let's look at S-T. S-T. Christmas. Christmas. We say Chris, like a man's name, Chris. And we have Mus, Christmas. It's a holiday for Christians, right? Christmas. The T is silent. We have the word whistle. Whistle. Maybe you can whistle. Let's see if I can whistle. Hmm. I can whistle. Whistle. Perhaps you have a whistle, which would be a noun, a little metal device, you blow on it, and it makes a kind of a whistle sound. 
commonly used in sports. The coach will blow a whistle at a basketball game, something like that. Whistle, but we don't say whistle. Whistle? No, no, no. Not whistle. Or not whistle. Uh, another word could be thistle. Thistle. T H thistle. It's a weed. A weed. A prickly, stickly weed. Thistles. An unpleasant weed to encounter. Here we go. We have fasten. Now we have S T E N. If we took off, if we took off the E N, we'd have fast, fast, and we'd pronounce the T fast. Now we have fasten. To fasten something is like to secure it, to hold it so it can't go anywhere. Like my watch is fastened to my wrist by this little device right here, this little buckle, right? Little catch. Fasten. You may have to fasten your dog to a leash, right? Okay, fasten. Now, if you see words that end with F-T-E-N, it is likely, like we see in soften and uh, fa uh, often, it's a very good chance that the T is going to be silent. If you see a word that ends S-T-L-E, it's very likely that the T will be silent. S-T-E-N, with the E-N, it's very likely that the T will be silent. It isn't always the case. It isn't always the case. There are other words out there, like the word uh, boastful, someone who brags a lot talks about the great things they do. They boast about what they've done. Uh, we call that boastful, and it's got the S-T, where you can hear the T in it. So it's S-T, st, st, boastful, boastful. Boast less. They do not boast, boast less. Uh, how about the word mostly, mostly? Well, uh, I, I like uh, of... Of all the foods in the world, I like fried chicken the most. M-O-S-T with a T sound. Now, if we say mostly, L-Y at the end, it still has that T sound. Mostly. Justly. Justly, right? In other words, something happened that should have happened. It was the correct thing to happen. It justly happened. If we take off the L-Y, we have the word just, like... He just didn't want to go with you. Just. Just leave. You have the T sound. So it can make a it makes a difference. It's not a lock fast rule, but we must be aware that sometimes T is silent when it comes after a S or F. Hello. Are you ready? Silent consonants. Number six out of seven. In words that have CK, the letters CK together side by side, in them the C is silent. Now, this is true in many, many words, and it's not a sometimes thing. We can say it's all the time. Can you find a word that's not true? Well, maybe you can. But this one here we consider all the time, not just sometimes. Black. Black. B-L-A-C-K. A-C-K is ack, ack. B-L, two-letter consonant blend, blah, blah, blah. Bla, black. The color black. At night, the sky is black, except for the twinkle of stars, right? Black. Sack. A C K again. Sack. We have a silent C. Ack. 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 Sack. What is a sack? It's a bag. That's all. You could say it's a bag. You could say it's a sack. Usually, if somebody's talking about a sack, they're talking about something. At least this is what I think of it as. Something made out of a cloth. 
uh, like a burlap sack. It could be a burlap bag too, right? But normally people don't call uh, a, a paper bag that you get from a grocery store a sack. You can, it's not a bad thing, but we usually say it's a bag in a sack. I normally think of something bigger, right? Okay, then we have the word CL, CLA, CLA, CLA. OCK is OCK, OCK. CLOCK, CLOCK. The C is silent. You have the O, A, K, 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 LOCK, CLOCK, CLOCK. What's a CLOCK? Well, it's basically my wristwatch without the watch band up on the wall, maybe sitting on your nightstand. It's a clock. You tell time with a clock. We have the word chicken, chicken. Now here we have AK, the sound AK, the sound OK. Now we have the sound IK. C-H-I-K is ick, ick. C H ch ch ch, ick, chick, chicken, chicken. I think most people like chicken. They like to eat chicken. Okay, the C is silent, so we have the I, I, the K, k chick, ick, chicken. How about the lick, lick, L I C K. The the C is silent, of course. L la 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 la. If you put a C in front, we'd have click. Click, like you, uh, you on the, on the mouse on your computer, you click, right? Maybe you click your remote control, click on the button on the website. Okay, then you take off the C, we have lick. Well, what is lick? How about when you take your tongue and lick the ice cream on an ice cream cone? How about when a cat laps up, laps up some some milk out of a bowl with its tongue and then it'll sit down and it'll lick its paws and lick its legs to clean itself. It's lick, lick, or a dog will lick your hand because it likes you. Lick. Quick. Q-U sounds like quick, 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 quick. Could be quarter, could be quiet, quick. I-C-K. C is silent. Ick, ick. Okay, we have the K sound. K -k -k. What is quick? Quick. It means to do something fast. You get it done fast, right? Like, uh, he was very quick to call the bank and complain about the bad service he had received, right? Maybe the bank was very quick to call him and complain that, hey, you didn't pay your monthly bill. You owe us money. Quick, something that happens fast, right? Right now. We're on the seventh video of seven regarding silent consonants. Here we're talking about in words that end with M, B, the two consonants together, M and B. The B is Silent. No sound. And here are some example words. Now all you have to do is just drop the sound of the B and you're going to pronounce it correctly. Here's the word comb. Comb. C-O-M-B. That's it. The O sounds long. O, comb, comb. Like you have a comb and use it to comb your hair. Numb. Numb. Ooh. Perhaps you've gone to the dentist and had to get some work done in your teeth. The dentist gave you something Novocaine or something like Novocaine with a needle. They give you a shot. Oh. And it makes your whole mouth numb. You can't tell if your, your lips are together, apart. If you drink water, the water pours down your face. All right. N-U-M-B, B is silent. Um, um, num. It's not a long U. Um, uh, uh, 
um, short you. Num. How about the word crumb? C R cr cr crumb. U M with a silent D. Again, we have um like in num, but crumb. Now, what is a crumb? Well, usually we use the word crumb to say that when someone, for example, eats a cookie, maybe some of the little pieces of the cookie fall off and you get crumbs all over the table or in your lap, on your shirt, right? Crumb. That's what a crumb is. How about bread crumbs, right? People will dry a piece of bread, break it into crumbs, and stuff it inside a turkey for Thanksgiving Day to make dressing. Bread crumbs. Also, someone might say that that person is a crumb. What a crumb! Because they're a, they're a bad person. They think they're kind of a low person. They're not a nice guy or, or woman. So, oh, what a crumb. What a bad person. Here we have the word dumb. D-U-M-B. Dumb. Again, we have um, um, um. Duh. The D. Duh. Um. Silent B. Now, dumb. Dumb. What dumb really means is someone is unable to speak. Dumb. And I'm sure in modern times now we have other words for that. Some uh, politically correct, nice sounding way to say it. Also, <coughs> we have... Um, oh, a mute. A mute is a, the, the correct word to use for uh, unable to speak. They're a mute. Um, dumb, okay, a person that, who is not smart. That, that guy, is, he's just dumb. It's like saying he's stupid, right? What a dummy. What a dumb thing to do. Not smart thing to do. We have the word C-L-I-M-B. C-L, cluck, cluck, cluck. Now we have I-M instead of O-M, um, or O-M, and U-M, um. We have I'm, I'm, climb. Now this sounds like if we make a contraction with the word I am, I'm, I'm hungry. Cl-I'm. That's the word. The B is silent. What does climb mean? For example, you have a ladder and you climb up the ladder to get on your roof. There are a set of steps, stairs, a staircase, a stairway. And you go up them. You're climbing the steps. You're climbing the staircase. A squirrel might climb a tree. A monkey climbs a tree. A rope. Climb. Here's the word lamb. L-A-M-B. La. A-M. Am. 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 Like I am, but no contraction. Just am. La, la, la from the L. Lamb. The B is silent. What is a lamb? Well, do you know what a sheep is? Bah, a sheep. They have a thick coat of wool on them. They like to shear the sheep, cut all their wool off to make clothing. Okay, a baby sheep is a lamb. Huh. Did you know that? Do you know what a baby goat is? G-O-A-T? A kid. Yes, a kid. And what do a lot of Americans call their children? Kids. Hmm. What do you think about that? Okay, lamb. Consonants that have more than one sound. Simple enough. We're going to talk about three consonants here. Three, the letter C, the letter G, and the letter S. C can sound like K or S. So if it sounds like K, it has a K, K, K sound. Like in K, cat, C-A-T, K. S, it has a S sound. Now, what word would have C that sounds like S? Hmm, we'll find out soon. G, 
can sound like G or J. G is J or G G G G G G. J J J J. So think of the names、uh, Gary, G A R Y. You could think of the name Jerry, J E R R Y. G J. S can sound like S S Z Z S H Sh Z H. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at each one of these letters with some example words for you. All right. Let's continue on. We're going to begin with C. Let's begin with the letter C. Remember, it can sound like K or S. K, S, K, S. Now, here's the secret. Here's the rule. C plus, or we could say, if C is followed by, if C is followed by, E, I, or the letter Y. Then it sounds like s. S, s. For example, the word center, c e e center, s, s. like the center of a table, the center of a room, in the middle of something, the center of. C i, c i, city, as an example, city. Maybe you live in a big city. Or a small town, but city. Here we have C Y, C Y, cycle, cycle, as in the word bicycle or bicycle. But here by itself, it's cycle. Okay, C Y, cycle. Now, when does C sound like K? C. Without, so this is easy to remember. All we have to do now is remember, without e i or y, without e i or y, c sounds like k k k k. For example, capture, capture. Maybe there's a stray cat in your neighborhood that you would like to capture, so you could feed it. Give it a good home, something like that. To catch something, to capture it. C A, capture C U. Now it doesn't have to be C A. It doesn't have to be C U. Doesn't have to be C O. Just without E I or Y, we get the k sound. So example words: capture, cute, cute. Are you cute? Oh, you probably are. Cute, perhaps. Your neighbors had a new baby, and the baby is so cute. A little puppy. Oh, they're so cute. C O. We're using O as an example. Could be a different letter, just not E I Y. Cold. It's cold outside. Brr. In the winter. Cold. Chilly. Which? Uh. Uh. Cold is a very good example. Capture cute cold. All right now. Let's move on to the next letter. Okay, now let's look at the letter G. Now, for G, can sound like G or J. G J. G plus. Here's the rule. This is the part to remember. G plus E or I. The letter E or the letter I sounds like. J J J sounds like the letter J. Now the letter J sounds like J U M P, jump, jump, J J J jump. But G with E after it, like the word gentle, gentle,、uh, something that is not mean or hard on on another thing or person. It's very gentle. Maybe your mother has very Gentle ways about her. She's very gentle the way she handles the children, things like that. G E G I, giant, giant. 
Maybe a gentle giant. A giant is a very, very large creature, right? Whether it be a human or an animal of some sort. Gentle giant. Now, are these were are these rules that I'm telling you about a hundred percent always right? No, no, no. For example, if you take the word G I V E, give. Here, I'm going to give you my marker. Give. Well, that's g g g g, not j j j j. You don't give someone something; you give them something. So the rules are not a hundred percent, but pretty good to keep in mind. Most of the time, they're right. Now, without e or i, after g, we have the way we would expect g to sound in most words, like g g game. You play a game, a baseball game, a card game. Right, gum, g g um, gum. Now maybe you like to chew gum, chewing gum. Mm. Maybe you like to chew gum. Hmm, mm. num num num. Chew on some chewing gum. Okay, G U M. All right, that's the letter G. Now let's move on to the next letter. And here's our third and final letter. S. Can sound like Z. Z, S H, Z H, Sh, Z. Here, let's look at the words. It's easier to grasp the sound when it sounds like when S sounds like Z. Now, most of the time, S sounds like S. That's normally what it sounds like, but it can sound like is z, z, is I S is. Uh, it is a sunny day. His, H I S, his. Just put H in front of I S, but his, like, that is his book. It's your brother's book. It's his book. Has, H A S, has. She has beautiful eyes. Has. Take away the H, you have as. As a matter of fact, I love sunny days. As. Ways. How many ways can you make an apple pie? How many ways can you do whatever? How many ways? Change the W to D. You have days. One day, two days. Runs. Runs. He runs very fast to catch the bus. Runs, to run runs. S H, we have sugar, sugar, sugar. S U here, it sounds like S H sugar. Now sugar, what is sugar? It's that white granulated substance that you put on food to sweeten it up. Sugar cane, right? Sugar. Maybe you like to put sugar in your tea or your coffee, maybe on your cold cereal. Sure, sure. Will you help me? Oh, sure you will. Come on, give me a hand. Sure. Or surely, I'll surely be there on time. Kind of like certain. Okay, Z H. Treasure, treasure, treasure. Can you hear that in here? Treasure, treasure. That's kind of a oddball. Okay, but here we have our different sounds for S. So that covers the three letters that consonants. They are the consonants that have more than one sound. C, G, and our friend S. We're going to talk about. Consonant diaphragms. Consonant diaphragms. Now, for the last few videos, we've been talking about consonants, 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 right? So that's what we're talking about now. We're finishing up on the consonant digraphs. I'm sorry, I said diaphragm. <laughs> digraphs, digraphs. Okay, we have two consonants that. Create a new sound when put together. 
That is the definition of a consonant digraph. digraph. And we have CH, CH, CH. That's a consonant digraph. PH, F, F. It sounds like A, uh, it sounds like F, 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 like in the word telephone, phone. S, H, sh, 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 like shut the door. T, H, F, F, like think, think about it, F, F, think. W, H, W, W. Now, W by itself sounds like W, W. H, 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 together, it's w like white, white, the color, white. Or, could you wait a while, while, wa, wa, wa. The W and the WH, it's not too much difference. There's not too much difference. T and H, T, H, T, H, comes out th, th. There is a difference. It's a new sound, right? More, much more distinctive than that one. I can't really pick that one out, to be honest with you. S H sh h sh h sh h. The new sound is sh sh sh. Quite different than sh h, right? P H very different. P h p h. Now p h now now f f. Very different sound than P and H by themselves. CH, now C can sound like uh, a C or a K. I mean, an S or a K. C could sound like S, 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 an S. Could sound like K, 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 a K, like in the word cap or cat. H, ha, ha. S, ha, S, ha. Eh, I don't know. How about K, ha, K, ha. Eh, I don't know. CH, the sound is ch, ch, like the word chair. Perhaps you're sitting in a chair right now watching this video. Ch, new sounds, right? With these together. All right, now let's take a look at some words that we can go over where we use these sounds. All right, now we have our five consonant diaphragms, diaphragms, no, digraphs, digraphs, ch, 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 ph, f, f, sh, 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 th, f, 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 wh, w, w, w. As I mentioned earlier, wh, eh, I don't see where it's such a new sound. But, anyways, wah. Let's look at these words. We've got ch, ee -E is e, s, sounds like s, s, e, cheese, cheese. You know what cheese is. You get cheese, uh, it's a dairy product made from milk, from the cows, the cream. There's a process. I love cheese. Swiss cheese, that's my favorite. Ch, C H. E A sounds like E. We have P, P. Ch, Ch, E, P, cheap. Cheap, something that is not expensive. It doesn't cost much money. Now, to buy something that's cheap, it doesn't cost much money. A person who is cheap means they don't want to spend money. They're a cheap person. A tightwad. Are you a tightwad? No, I don't think so. C H cha cha. You are er. Er. Our old friend, the er sound. And another. Look at this, look at this. Another C H. Okay. Cha er ch. Ch er ch. Church. Church. Just an air sound at the end, ch -ch, right? Church. Okay, what's a church? A church is uh, a religious establishment, uh, a, re a building made and owned by a religious organization 
where people go to worship together, right? They pray to uh, however they believe in a higher being, right? Church. We have P-H, fa fa fa, O, the long O, and to, to, photo, a photo. Take a picture of something and we say you have a photo of it. Maybe you have a photo album. You have photos on Facebook. We call them images now too. Graph, G-R, gr, gr, a, 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 short A, th, the F sound. A graph, okay? A graph could be if you go look at the stock market, you buy stocks and the price of those stocks go up and down. Well, you're looking at a stock chart. You could say it is a graph of how that stock is doing. There are many kinds of graphs. Now, if you put these two words together, what do we have? We have a photograph, which is really the correct word for photo. Photo is just a short way of saying photograph. Telephone. T, 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 E, L, 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 A, Tela, A, P, H, F, F, O, N. Telephone. Now, most people just say a phone. Hello. I'd like to talk to you on my phone. The real word should be telephone. There's also a telegraph. Have you ever heard of telegraphs? Well, they were out before telephones were. Telegraphs. S H sh I P IP, short I, 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 ship. Okay, you may get on a very large boat and they call that a ship. Perhaps your navy has many, many ships in it. Or you want to ship something, a package, to a friend of yours. You send it, we say you're shipping it. You're sending it. S-H-O, O, long O, R. Shore, I mean, er, shore. Shore, where the water, a lake, an ocean, the river meets the land, we call that the shore, a shore. S-H-O, short O, ah, ah, shopping, shopping. I think you know this word. Do you like to go shopping? You go to the store and you look for things to buy, you buy things. Well, you are shopping, right? T-H, th, 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 A-T, we know that's at. Without that T, it'd be hat. You wear a hat on your head, the at, that, that. Look at that thing over there. Look at that car. It's beautiful. Look at that. If it's close to you, near, like this, this is my marker. Take the marker away, I'd say that is my marker if it's far away. The at, that, this, these, those, the, then, Van, thorn, T H, th, or, O R, or, n, n sound, thorn. What's a thorn? Well, maybe you have some rose bushes with the beautiful rose, the flower on them, and there are little ooh, things that stick you. They hurt when you touch the stem. Those are thorns. Thorns. A thorn. W H, wa. Wa, at, but it doesn't really sound, it sounds like ot when we say it. The word is, or uh, ot, the word is what, what, what did you say, what is that over there? What, what, what is so, a uh, whistle, whistle, a whistle. You blow on a whistle. A policeman may have a whistle to blow on when they're directing traffic. Or maybe you can whistle. Can you whistle? I can whistle. Eh, I'm a little out of practice. Where? What? What? Air? This sounds like air. Remember in previous uh, videos, we looked at this sound. And sometimes it sounds like ear. Sometimes it sounds like air. Well, here it sounds like air, where, right? 
if we took off the W, we'd have the word here. Like, please, come here. Put on the W, and now it's where, air. English. That concludes this lesson. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you at our next lesson. Goodbye for now.